Hey guys, welcome back to Cajun Hard Talk. I'm Jake. And Ross. Today we're talking about 1990s Repossessed. <sighs> grab a beer, grab a cup of coffee. Let's talk horror. Right, guys 1990s repossessed happy monday happy Hello. mockery monday yep guys. mockery monday uh looking at a runtime of one hour and 20 long minutes yeah it was like an hour too long yeah <laughs> they could have cut out a they, they, solid they hour out cut out a lot of this all right so budget wise there is zero info on budget online for this movie yeah i'm sure they didn't want to put a price tag yeah, on you want to guess the gross no no they had, they had a limited release it was mostly for vhs sales shocking what do you want to guess for but i mean for gross Gross uh, uh, domestic? No, worldwide. Worldwide, I would say. Which you, I don't think we ever went worldwide. I think it's I just it probably wouldn't have just been fucking domestic. It didn't need to go worldwide. God. It's not what America needs to be known for. It could have just sucked in other languages. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to say it's probably in like the 5 million range. Nope, 1.4. 1. 1. 1. Really? I was actually expecting a little bit yeah. higher than that. Cause, I, I mean, don't think they made their budget back. There's a lot of people that like slapstick. I. This I, isn't even slapstick, dude. I enjoy slapstick. This was like a step above and beyond. I, step ab- no, this was a step down and below. This, this sucks. Was, this, Guys, love no, no. This this was fucking painful. It was. I had to watch this fucker twice. Yeah, he did for this video, and I died a little inside. I I liked Leslie Nielsen, and growing up, I remember watching this movie growing up, and I thought it was fucking hilarious. But I think you, once you. I, I, maybe we're too mature to enjoy this movie, which is something know. that I've never said because I'm very <laughs> yeah. immature. Especially I'm, considering you and I. Now, that's something that never applied to us before. No, there's a video of me going, titty, 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 titty. And I just said I'm too mature for this movie. So that, that speaks volumes, guys. Yeah. This, so, this was, it was painful. It hurt me. It, it really did. Let's look at this. Let's see. Cast, we're looking at Linda Blair coming in as Nancy Aglet. Uh-huh. Nat Beatty plays Ernest Weller. Lana Schwab plays... Fanny Ray Weller. Oh, God. I hated her in this movie. Not Leslie actress, Nielsen plays Father Jedediah May I. Father May I. And Anthony Stark played Father Luke Brophy. Now, there were other people I could have listened to the cast in this. I just didn't care enough to list them all. I stopped caring. I had to watch this thing twice. <laughs> Dude, it sucked so hard. I watched it twice. Okay. I played Candy Crush, you guys. So, I was, I was that the... Plot of this movie is um, the plot of the movie is good. That's what's fucked up. Yeah, Nancy Aglet is possessed as a child. Yeah, she's father me. I rids the they're rids implying the she's the original girl from The Exorcist. Yeah. He rids her of the demon, and when she gets older, because she was watching TV, she got repossessed by the TV via television. Which I don't know if that they were trying to go for some kind of deep metaphor, but they they missed. They missed hard. They, they missed their. their <laughs> they missed hard. So she gets repossessed and through the television, and immediately she does the classic turn her head around and yells at her fucking. Which all this is a story told by Father Mayor in his class. In his class, who Linda Blair's in the fucking class. She's yeah, but not as her character though. That's a dude. You budget. You couldn't afford one extra fucking person. <laughs> I would have rather had one less person in the fucking class. Yeah, I think they've done that in several movies. I mean, hell, look, Matthew Lillard was in Scream 2. Yeah, I was okay with that. I was okay with that, dude. That's because you like the fucking movie. Yeah, maybe it so. It makes a difference when you like the I, movie. I, maybe so. Maybe it's just because I, I hated watching this so much. This fucking it, movie sucked. It's, it killed me, guys. And I was really looking forward to it. I was like, oh, this is going to be a good Mockery Monday video. Right. I'm going to enjoy watching this again. By the way, PG-13 movie. Back in the 90s. Saw two pairs of boobs in here. Two pairs of titties and a couple asses. Yeah, nice couple asses. And some shit that would make PETA go fucking crazy. And uh, a lot of shit that the LGBT would fucking oh, pounce man. upon. This, this movie would be fucking For A lot protested. of religious jokes against a, bunch of, against a du- bunch of different religions. Religions. Religion. Like, this movie just straight up went out and offended everybody. And not as a comedic fashion as what they thought. Yeah, started out decent. Was the, it funny? Let's put it out there. Not funny. Oh, oh, it had it had its funny moments. There were some things where I chuckled. A, a soft chuckle I, I was chuckled. the best this freaking I, I movie. Chuckled. This got movie, out of me. this movie, did not make me laugh out loud. I did not. Lol, guys. I, I, 
you know that thing where somebody sends you a, a really good funny meme but it's not like this over hysterical shit so you go <laughs> hmm. that's what i did I, yeah i just i slightly excel through my nose a little harder than normal and uh the, the son yelling at dad mom's up in the priest that was, i chuckled at that yeah, that was all right Other it was that, cool to see the clap on commercial again though I, that was a piece of nostalgia that I could have done without. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't need to see it, but I, it, it was cool to see. I, I could have, I could have done without you this. Know? This movie needed titties in it. That was probably its only redeeming quality. For the jokes young. land so flat in this movie. Oh, it was, it was horrible. The guys. tire joke. I would rather listen to the original Richie from It do a stand-up bit than watch this movie again. Ooh, Ooh that's rough. That's, this is bad. I would rather watch him do his stand-up bit from the original now, It. The one cool thing about this movie was the, the fourth wall break. Where he tells yes, her to prove you. They did have the fourth wall break. That was, that was a pretty good one. When she's like, fine, watch. You want to see how good, I, uh, how, how powerful I am? I'll break the film. And looks at and the TV. She, and she breaks the fucking film. Look, the movie had a good premise. It really did. It had, it had all the elements of something that could have been a really good movie. The plot was awesome, but it was so. Because when you, when, you, when, you, when you get to the end, you realize that uh, Satan's she, done all this to try to get onto t- national television. She wants to affect as many people as possible. She gets a big audience. Yeah. So uh, the plot had a great idea behind it, but they diluted it with these shitty jokes. It, so, just, it, so it, it was so overboard. There's a, a guy jabs a fucking uh, TV announcer with a pull cue because they told him to cue the announcer. Yeah. So he pokes him with a pull cue. Jesse the Body Venture and Mean Gene <laughs> Okerlund. Yeah, the cutting is move. What the we're, fuck? We're in the third act. I shouldn't have to say more than that. The the dove the devil turns Reagan or uh, Nancy into an ice cream cone and tells the priest to lick her. Yeah, it's terrible, bro. It's, it's bad. Uh, they even like they just really on the nose with the oh the word on the street is this and they're driving and it's written on the street. You're like oh that's. Not clever. It's, like, not, it's, it's just not funny. You, you're just doing exactly what you... you she goes to a doctor. You're just being literal. They can't, they can't help her. You see all these different kinds of dogs. You got a white guy. Yeah. You got a black guy. Yeah. You got a woman, but she turns around. She's got a beard and a mustache. Look like your ex-wife. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. <laughs> Pre- Dude, post-divorce. Just, yeah, post-divorce. <laughs> just, it, was, it just it just wasn't was so funny. Bad. Uh, they call Dr. Fingers to proctology. He asked yeah, if her vomit was, was smooth or chunky. Uh, the, uh, the survey says it was stupid. They had an Amelia Earhart uh, skull. skull on the thing. <laughs> it, I think they was trying so they hard, tried so hard to be funny that it just killed it. it and I, dude, I like Leslie Nielsen. I love the the Naked Gun movies. I actually enjoy watching Dracula Dead and loving it. Even, it, it was it, it was, was a it, fun movie. It was it was fun. It was this, fun. Re, I'm not watching Repossessed again. I'm not. I, it makes me wonder how much of Dracula. Now, now that I'm thinking, after watching this, makes me wonder how much of uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It was Mel Brooks. Yeah. And how much Leslie Nielsen. How much of it was actually. Well, dude, even like The Naked Gun. The Naked Gun to True, an half, The yeah. Naked Gun 30 and th- 33 and a third. I enjoyed. Or oh, even in the later scary movies he was in. Yeah, I enjoyed his acting and his, his portrayal in that movie. And his I delivery. Just, his delivery was good. Uh, well, it's hard to deliver such flat jokes like they were just it was terrible it, it was really bad so nancy gets repossessed she goes to the doctors the doctors have no fucking clue she gets to uh the priest the priest tries to go get uh father may i well yeah Nancy. you got the young priest now you need the old priest. you need the old priest um father may i's heart is not doing well since uh, the original exorcism he did 17 fucking years ago um, so, uh, so like uh, they do, they, like they say in the Dark Knight Rises. Apparently, you go work out and it fixes everything you got wrong with you. Yeah, they had like a they had like a Rocky montage yeah. in, in this movie, and it was a. Pretty it really s- reminds me of Dark Knight Rises, or it was yeah, it was Dark Knight Rises where he did push ups and healed his broken back. Yeah, well, no, the guy he he like slammed that shit back his back. I don't I don't know. Yeah, we're we're gonna leave Christopher Nolan alone for this. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we want to compare these two movies because oh, I, God, I no. really fucking enjoy that movie. All right, so. Um, of course, there's a televangelist on TV with him and his annoying ass fucking wife. I hated her character. In this I movie. hate both of them. I, I hated her character. I, I hated her so much more, so much more. You don't know. And it makes you because here's the thing though, that that's a kind of a commentary on televangelists. There's it not really, many televangelists, uh, televangelists that I really like. None. So. I can't think of I any offhand. Think, I can't think of a because here's the thing: you can look at all of them and they're the same, just like him, or you just know they're up there for the money. Yeah. Just give me all your money. Give me your money. I'll make, make your life $6 better. $6 million dollars in two days. Yeah. 
This is in the 90s, So I can guy. go buy a plane <laughs> and drive a Bentley. Oh, my God. What's that fucking movie, The the Rich Pastors, they have? It's a fucking series on MTV or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have all these I rich forget. pastors. Yeah. People. Look, we're, coming from two people who are, who are actually religious, I can't stand people who utilize that just for- The faith to the get money. Faith that's, for that's money. Disgusting, that's yeah. fucking disgusting. You people suck. God, I hate you people. Um, so they got Leslie Nielsen is sitting at, he's in a retirement home. For actors and exorcists. actors and exorcists. And he's sitting at home and they televise, which is what you find out is Satan's big. Uh, oh, after the young thought. priest reads Believe in Yourself by Charles Manson. By Charles Manson. Believe in Yourself by Charles Manson. That was a great, uh, that what the fuck? <laughs> But and the thing was, it was supposed to be funny. It was just like, oh, that's kind of that's that's, interesting. That's, okay, but yeah, I didn't laugh. I just was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> there was it, everything just fell so so fucking flat in this damn movie. Uh, it was all oh, I got two cases of flu, and and there's a guy behind him is carrying two cases of, of boxes that they, have, the jokes fell so freaking flat, man. They, they tried so they tried so hard, and I. I, Guys, I'm sorry. We're trying to muster up some enthusiasm I'm try, about this I'm movie. I'm trying to muster up the positive side of this movie. I really am because I don't want to. I don't want to shit all over a beloved actor's career and movies that he's done. But I've said it before in previous fucking movies. Not every movie you act in is going to be that fucking gem. This was not a fucking. This wasn't even a diamond in the rough. No, no. this was just rough. No, this was a piece of opal that someone dropped into an ocean. Yeah, this was terrible. It man. was bad. Jesus, um, Mary and Joseph. Although, if you're a teenager and you want to watch a PG-13 movie, you see a couple pairs of tits, this there is, you your, go. This is yeah. your ticket. Oh, by, and by the way, you have to buy it. It's you, so shitty, you, you can't even rent it. You can't rent the movie from you anywhere. Ha- you have to buy it. You have we to buy it. all over the place. I spent $6 on this movie. I did, too. Uh, we, uh, if I'd have known how bad it was, I just waited and we just bought it once. But I was doing my research And then there was an error, and my card declined. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure this Watch is my bank account telling me, don't do don't that. Hit, stop it. Why are you don't, doing this? Don't Dude, do trust it. me. You don't want to watch this. It's terrible. Yeah. At the end, it's, uh, it's she bad. does this fucking thing where she turns Leslie Nelson into a bunch of other uh, religious type people. They would they would. Oh, can we talk about how all the religious leaders from around the world arrived at the same time? Yeah. The Pope got to Los Angeles pretty damn quick. <laughs> I love that the guy in the fucking class. Is it true that the priest and nuns have orgies? <laughs> Next question. But like, that's what I'm... Uh, they wanted so much for to bring up these real issues and make them funny, and it just it, it landed on deaf ears. It really, it was, really it was, just it was bad. It was just horrible uh, delivering of the fucking. Like, there wasn't any fucking build up or anything. This was like uh, this is like a teenage boy's first time having sex. Yeah, where yeah, it's. I just wish it was that quick. Yeah, it's cool, but yeah, no, the jokes lasted fucking longer. Yeah, I wish I wish it had been over and done with and just been awkward. Yeah. But which, oh, this a, actually kind of is. There's, there's a, exactly what happened. It, 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 everything landed fast, and then it was really awkward for the rest of the fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, nobody left satisfied. No. Everybody's just like, well, I'm not a virgin anymore. Yeah. Speaking of which, Leslie Nielsen as a priest uh, gets possessed by, like, via... Uh, the other priest. Uh, there was like this jumping around of the, the devil spirit. And but for then, some reason, he took her body with him. That's what I don't understand. I was about to ask you about that. I, I get that I, I, they were trying to be funny by dressing Leslie Nielsen up as a woman and dressing the other priest up as a woman, I guess. But whenever the devil, the spirit jumped from Reagan to the young priest, he. Nancy. The. Uh, I keep calling her Rig. I'm sorry. I prefer the regular exercise. I'm sorry. Hey, jump from Nancy to the young priest, and the young priest is in a female body. He has boobs and a blue dress. We'll get back to that. (laughs) He has boobs and a blue dress. And then uh, Leslie Nielsen starts grabbing the guy. Was he screaming at him? Come inside me or something like that. Something like that. And keeps thrusting his hips into him. Thrusting this fucking priest. And then he gets Reagan's body, and he has boobs, so he immediately feels Fondles him. He immediately feels his breast because... I mean, well, oh, you put boobs oh, on any dude, and he'll do that. I'm, uh, I'm not going to take anything from him because if I had titties, I'd probably be like, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Check that. I won't be the first one to throw a stone on that one. Yeah, I'm not going to throw a stone on that one. But then uh, Nancy's on the bed. She goes, Father, may I? And he's like, yes. And then he jumps yeah, he on goes, her. Yes, you may. Yeah, he goes, yes, you may. And then he jumps on her and and starts humping. But he he's in a woman's body, right? He doesn't have a penis, correct? <laughs> I don't understand what happened in this movie. I, I went into this. I, I feel drained. 
I feel like it took all of my personality Dude, with it. It just fucking killed me. I couldn't even. I'm sitting there and because here's know, the thing, I, guys. When we looked because by now y'all know we bat shoot these movies. I mean these videos. We do. We we bat shoot on the. I looked videos. at our I looked at our schedule for this week. I'm like, oh man, we got we got repossessed. We got uh, Pulse, the Lost Pulse, Boys, the Lost Nightmare Boys, Nightmare Three, like, Nightmare Three. Like, this is like, gonna this be a, a great this week, is a great fucking week. For and reviews. I messed up and watched repossessed the last uh no see i watched it uh i watched it second i watched nightmare three and then i watched repossessed and i just i literally this was one of those movies you would, oh, i was came off a of nightmare three into this yes i was sitting on my fucking lazy boy and whenever the movie ended and this worst which is the only award that this movie won was for the worst original song and it's the rap song at the end and i paused my fucking tv and I literally sat there in silence for 30 seconds, just staring at the TV. Like, I didn't know what to do. I just <laughs> sat. I, I paused it. And I was just like. Oh, no. oh I paid for I, that. I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. I just started writing down random fucking shit because I'm like trying to take notes on this crap. And typically I try to make some kind of puns or some kind of jokes. And, and I'm probably not as funny as I think I am. But I try to write something down that's clever as, as I. I it stole the funny. It, it, it sucks it out of it you, bro. It sucked it out of me. It's terrible. It's so bad. It was so God, This bad. may be the worst movie I've ever witnessed in my life. It's up there, dude. It's bad. Let's, all right. So they're in the fucking, they're televising the exorcism for money. Um, <laughs> Uh, and they do it like a fucking all day infomercial type thing where they she got puts different the televangelists into a pantomime horse suit. Yeah, that happens. That that happened. That happens. So, so it's not like she turned them into a horse. No, she put them in a in a joint horse suit. Pantomime horse. A pantomime horse. It was a joint. Was Which a, Kate Beckinsale carries with her at all times. By the way, a suit like that. <laughs> I Jesus Mary and Joseph. I'm so. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I don't think Graham I Norton show. I watched an interview with her. Yeah, she carries one all around with her everywhere because it just makes her feel good. That's a random... To find someone to jump in a suit with her. I would jump in a pants. You're telling me horse. I watched this movie twice and the only legitimate thing that I've learned <laughs> is that... Oh, I'm so done. So they're televising the shit and um, Nancy is... Get the world... Just say, would you not jump in a pants on horse suit with Kate Beckinsale? Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. I would jump in anything with Kate Beckinsale. Not, yeah, in a heartbeat. Not even fucking quite... I wouldn't even question why she had it. She's like, hey, you want to jump in here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, you want it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm okay. So they got the biggest audience, and she decides uh, Nancy spits fire and then turns the guys into the pantomime horse suit, and she starts talking to the audience. And then her and the priest get into a golf cart race <laughs> down um, with Hollywood streets and shit. She, okay. Okay, wait. I, I decided something. I don't want to talk about this movie anymore <laughs> as it is. I really don't. Okay. We're, so this is what we're going to do. We're almost there. What would you do to make this movie better? Go back in time and burn the film. <laughs> no. What would you do? Come on. Give me a writer or a, like a movie writer or a series writer that you want to write this movie and give me actors to replace someone in this movie. Oh, oh my God. Or, uh, I think... That this movie would have been an amazing movie. Hold up, who movie. wrote this? Who I think did the screenplay this movie on this? would be an amazing movie if it was not... Um, this is Bob Logan. It was uh, Logan Works production. Okay. The potential for this movie to be an actual horror movie could have been there and... Oh, no, no. I'm going to keep it as a... As no, a as well, a what, what, what I'm, think, I'm thinking is it could have the comedy elements in it, but it would... It wouldn't. It wouldn't be so fucking slapsticky. Slapsticky. It wasn't even if, slapstick at a certain point. It was just if you had a legitimate political jokes and some of the some of the subjects they touched on could have been really funny if delivered properly. They were not. I would like to see. Um, I would like to see Mel Brooks. This is a, this is like yes. a Mel Brooks type of work, and I think that Mel Brooks was more edgy, and they were trying to be edgy. But they didn't. They didn't hit the mark. Yeah, I think that because look at some of the shit that Mel now, Gibson has. Like, no, Mel I'm, Gibson. Not, I'm not holding down to not, time period either. I'm talking. This is, this, this is like this is like dream casting. Okay, dream casting. Anybody, anybody oh at all God. time. Because I would like to see the Williams brothers get in on this. 
See, I think that because see the Wayne's brothers, that slapstick style comedy, that's a style that I can get and behind. And they, they get into political because stuff. They fucking they, they nail get it to pop culture. And yes. they, they, they take it with them and they, they make fun of it in a way that makes you laugh. And they fucking nailed it. And in so, 1990, the young priest. So you're talking. Al Bundy. Dream, oh, God, yeah. Al Bundy would have been amazing. Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill would have been freaking, freaking awesome actor. in that role. So if you're looking at uh, the literal Dreamcast, anybody, anything goes. Yes. I want to see Mel Brooks being a uh, director. I want to see, as far as writing. You could have made him the Pope. As far as writing, Mel Brooks would have been great as a fucking Pope because he always cameos on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Dave Chappelle, writing. Oh, God. Oh, that blew it out the fucking roof. Dave Chappelle, uh, corresponding with the Wayne's Brothers, writing the Wayne's Brothers oh. store in it. This movie would had had so much fucking potential. Yeah, it and it been just great. fell fucking flat. But could you imagine a remake of this with Dave Chappelle writing this shit? That would have been fucking epic. That would have been amazing. It would have been amazing. It would never be able to be showed today. We're not, and see, that's the problem. Like, <laughs> like uh, Chappelle show and stuff. A lot yeah. of the, like, the seasons one and two of Chappelle show, if you watch them now, nowadays, that shit, everybody's so fucking politically sensitive. correct yep. and sensitive and shit. The super Karens would unite. And I'm, I, I know y'all consider that offensive. I'm sorry if you're a Karen. Yeah. You're, you're a fucking Karen. My mom's a Karen. Love you, mom. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that would have been epic. And I love, leave Les Nielsen where he's at. Leslie Nielsen is a great actor. Yeah. I just don't think he's a he great comedic much, actor. I don't think he had much to work with in this movie. I find the young priest lacked a lot of his timing. He lacked Oh, dude, something. The, the Star Wars jokes fell so fucking hard. Really bad. They really... They, and again, that was a pop culture thing. This is 1990. The fucking... Spaceballs. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at the yeah, potential you have for there. Star Wars jokes. It was or, right ooh, fucking there. Ooh, Ed O'Neill would have been good, but Rick Moranis as the young priest would have been great, too. I could I could definitely see Rick Moranis doing that. I'm, I'm excited to hear Rick Moranis is actually coming back to Hollywood. I'm looking yeah. forward to that so much. Yeah. Or, or Bill Murray. Oh. I could see that. I could see Bill Murray in a, in a priest uh, character. I could see him working that way. Bill fucking Murray. Yep, Bill Murray is a young priest, and you could have did. Um, okay, I'm um, s- I'm I'm so I'm so done with this. This movie had amazing amazing potential and could have been a lot greater. It was not. This is our saddest podcast. I think we've I ever think this recorded. is. This really is. It really just. Okay, so do you want? Okay, we. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's only 22 minutes, but we're getting. I don't we, care. We're running out of steam on this I, one. I don't care. You want to guess the Rotten Tomato <laughs> score? Or let me give you the audience. Score Hold on, I, I have to. I have to ask you something before we do this right. because. What was we had? What movie did we do that the Rotten Tomato score was eleven? Oh, let me see. What movie was that? Because if this movie scored higher, was that Dracula Dead and Loving It? I think it may have been Dracula Dead and Loving It, which is another Leslie Nielsen movie. I yeah, Dracula Dead and Loving It. I would watch Dracula Dead and Loving It every day for the rest of my life to never have to see this movie again. So Dracula Dead and Loving It got eleven on Rotten Tomatoes. Right. Did this movie score higher? Than Dracula Dead and Loving It because I'm going to. Oh, what was the audience score for Dracula? I'm going to spam. 49%. I think. I'm going to spam Rotten Tomatoes with emails until they change this. Is that horrible? There's no fucking way. No, no, no. It beat it in both. Audience Dracula, score. Dracula you, Dead and Loving It beat it in both? Yeah. Thank God. I was about audience to spam score, the fuck out of Rotten Audience tomatoes. score, what are you guessing? Uh, audience score, there's a lot of slapstick comedy fans. There's a lot of people who probably really enjoyed this. It's also nostalgic, but. I remember watching this as a kid and thought totally fucking different, but I did But there are movies and it kind of took your mind out of it. I, I can't deny that. I'm a young fucking prepubescent boy and there were titties on screen, so yeah. I fucking loved it. it fried my brain and for the next hour and a half. Also, you have to remember that at that age, it was kind of like still being exposed to different types mm-hmm. of comedy, so it was a lot funnier back then. Audience score can't be higher than a 20. 36. You fucking kidding me. Yeah. You want to guess what the Rotten Tomato score is? It better be like a nine. Zero. <laughs> I have never seen a zero in Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a zero? Zero percent. Holy shit, guys. I, I, it's hard to argue. I can't even fucking make... Like, a lot of times I look at Rotten Tomatoes like, bro, you're being too hard on a fucking movie. Like, you got to understand there's yeah, budget this restraints. Been and, and this one, I'm like, eh, <laughs> okay. It's a zero. You okay. got a point. Oh, my... Wow. <laughs> Zero. Zero percent. It 
Uh, we have before we do our next video, we have to look up the lowest rated Rotten Tomatoes movies. It has to be this. I've it, never seen a zero percent on Rotten I've, Tomatoes. I've, we've been on a lot of fucking movies and a lot of Rotten Tomatoes shit. I don't think I've ever seen a zero. I think this is this is going to be video number what forty something for us. Yeah, it's up there, and I've never seen so, the eleven was the lowest we'd seen thus yeah. far. Yeah, we got another one coming up that's eleven also. This, oh, we'll, this week? We, yeah, dude, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. This week? Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. I hate you guys. <sighs> so. I, I hate you. Your score. Four score. Seven Four score. Ago. Seven. Four is not far off. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not far from mine. Dude, I was trying so hard to. We didn't address the fucking. The rock scene that happened at the end of it. That literally. Oh, that literally probably dropped it three fucking points for me. Three. That, that's, that's that all that scene dropped. <laughs> Their song, how they beat the devil in this movie, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure the, the, the devil, devil does not hate rock. The devil's I'm pretty sure he's an advocate of sex and drugs and rock and roll. Is he not? That's the whole thing. <laughs> you would think. sex and drugs and rock and roll. The devil's like, I hate rock music. I'm, Okay, so they're going to sing a song, and Reagan's laying Just there. Just so you know, Ozzy is very not, upset. Not Reagan. I'm sorry. I keep calling this bitch Reagan, which is a well, complete slap in the face of the exorcist after watching this movie. Nancy's laying in the bed wearing her little blue fucking dress, and she's chilling down there. So they find out that Satan hates rock and roll. I, so there is Leslie Nielsen. playing Alice Cooper. There's a band called Salvation, apparently, <laughs> and Leslie Nielsen is a lead singer, and they sing. The Pope is the lead guitarist. The Pope is the lead guitarist, <laughs> guys. And they sing Devil with a Blue Dress on. Yeah, they do. Which is, is really on the fucking nose. That, and I, oh. I made this comment already. Hang about, on, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, stop pressing. I, I don't I hit a button. I don't care. I, hit a button. I don't care anymore. This is the equivalent of uh, Kung Pao Into the Fist where they sang Black, Black Betty <laughs> Black at the Betty. end of it. I was like, oh, <laughs> really, guys? That's the song. <laughs> that made me chuckle. <laughs> the <laughs> devil with the blue dress sword. I literally looked stone faced like, you've <sighs> got to be shitting me. This is what they beat the devil with rock and roll, guys. They did. They, they, they beat the devil. Where are you at with a fucking rating for this one? Because I'm not even in the double digits, dude. And I'm trying. <laughs> I I'm, was going to go nine, but the more we talk about it, I'm giving it a six. Dude, I'm really... I'm really out of 50, I'm giving it a six. I, I'm not in the double digits. I'm tr I'm trying to land on a fucking number, and I don't want to fucking beat this movie up, but I kind of do. I kind of do. I'm, I'm. Oh, it's down. I want to beat it with a two by four like fucking Loomis beat Michael at the end of fucking Halloween 5. If y'all think we are exaggerating, please watch this no, movie. Five. And then, <laughs> please watch this movie and then comment in the section how you shouldn't have watched this movie. I'm... Uh, I have such regrets. I'm, I'm giving it a seven, dude. Yeah. I'm giving it a seven. And I'm fucking trying. I'm trying to find the positives in this movie. The Repossessed song, they made a song. Uh, <laughs> re, 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 repossessed. I'm like, please stop. <laughs> Just stop. Just stop. I don't want to hear anymore. I'm don't pretty sure Guantanamo Bay played this movie on loop. Oh, this prisoners. is cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah. This is fucking this is horrible. Terrible. CIA is, makes their agents watch this to oh like, my God, learn how you not to make divulge me, secrets. I, I will divulge all kinds of fucking secrets to not have to watch this movie again. <laughs> I'll admit bad, the man. shit I didn't do just so I don't have to watch this again. This was I watched this fucking thing twice. <laughs> Fuck you, by the way. <laughs> Fuck you, Jay. That, you made me sit through I this. I made you sit through it twice. I'm twice. sorry. Twice. Oh, this it was, was terrible. horrible. And then the second time, I was still trying to find the... The, the beer the, didn't even help. Yeah, I was drinking the second time I watched it, and I still couldn't find... If, I'm, if I've got a good buzz going on, and I'm still not laughing at your jokes, your jokes suck. Yeah. They're horrible. All right, I'm done talking about this. Yeah, we're done talking about this. I'm guys, giving it a fucking seven. Please. I'm giving it a six. Uh, if you look... If you just want to be a, a movie person to watch this movie, watch the movie. But just I, to this, put it on your, just to put it on your fucking belt. I, 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 I will it. never recommend this movie to someone that no. I that I care about. I wouldn't. I would recommend. Look, no, I'm not worried about the fact that we do spoiler reviews. Like majority, like all of our reviews are spoiler reviews, and I worry about people watching our our, our reviews first and then. Um, regretting it because they didn't get to watch it and be fresh coming into it. Guys, I'm hoping y'all watch this first before you watch this so we can tell you just don't watch it. It's I, fucking terrible. I, I could not even remember some of the fucking retarded ass jokes that happened in this Unfortunately, movie. I do remember them and they're that bad. They're, they're some it's kind of like, like seeing a car wreck when you're like seven, but yeah. you still remember every moment of it. It's, it's the same, it's same situation so, here. It was sad. This movie made me sad, guys. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Uh, please subscribe below. Uh, find us on SoundCloud, YouTube. Um, I regret, we're on Stitcher. I regret this so much. <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> Give us some ratings on all of the above, guys. Um, yeah, we need beer. I need, yes. We need Jesus beer. All right, we're out. It. We're out. Mm-hmm.